Ah, uh, what a perfectly normal Minecraft survival world. I guess we better go mine a tree. Wait, what? Welcome back to Minecraft, but everything is random. Entity drops are random. See? Block drops are random. And there's so much cringe to unpack here. Anyway, we're gonna be trying to do this in survival. So, uh, I guess we better mine some wood. Ha! Trolled ya! Wood doesn't give you wood here. And there's a lot to do. Things you wouldn't expect, so let's kill a chicken. Come, come, come here. I only want to murder you. One thing, though, we can mine these blocks, then place them, then get something totally different. And this just goes on forever and ever. So I guess the first thing we really need to do is um, find a village. Basically, we just need to mine blocks until we can find one that actually gives us um, a wood. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, go kill these sheep so you can get wool. But that's not how this works. There's a new flower we haven't mined yet. Oh wait, this is wood! Hallelujah! And we now have a sword. So I guess let's mine all of these. Um, cause these flowers are now really useful. Well, now that we have th all this wood, we can make the essential tools. And now we have the essential tools. So I say we see what stone gives us by mining that. That also gives us wood. Well, that's really good. That means, essentially, we won't run out of wood anytime soon. Well, I think we need to continue our adventure. Oh, I forgot. It's just gonna give us something else. Oop, there's a cow. Time to kill it, and it gives us nothing. That's amazing. We are never, ever going to find food. We got a chain. A magma warp stem. Yeah, we know the drill. You give us a button, which gives us mangrove slats. Or, no, it's a wool. And you give us a bed, which it is turning night. So, before we mine this, we will sleep. Okay, and now we'll combine this, and we get arrows. Finally, something that is not a block. Come this way. <gasps> There's a bee. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Stop. Dirt. Great. I needed that so much. Get out of here. It's a Tega, or Savannah, whatever. I don't know what you call it. Well, I think the obvious question is, what does this wood give us? Boy, I'm so excited to be journeying across this. We got a jungle. Ooh, melons! You're probably thinking the same thing I th that I'm thinking. Melons aren't going to give us anything of value. Yes, it is a button. You mine an entire th group of melons for a single button, but the melon gives you e something even worse than a button, which gives you actually something better than that, which gives you diamonds! What?! Okay, come here, all you melons. Okay, so I went in through this jungle, which was actually very small, and got all of the diamonds I could, which is 20. I think it's safe to say that we should be finding some more diamonds. The first thing I'm gonna do is get some tools. Yes, I know, I'm hopping straight from, um, wood to diamonds, which, it, it doesn't sound right at all. But yes, we are doing that. Cover me with diamonds, let's go. Anyway, let's get adventuring some more. The begging question is, though, when will we ever find a village or get out of the forest? And I'm gonna go ahead and say, not anytime soon. Well, we have these things, so if these give us something interesting, they give us more pressure plates. Candles. They're pink. Not not my favorite find, but it still could be. Yes. Okay. I think I... I like these. Oh, what a wonderful masterpiece. And I can see this sheep appreciates it. Wow, look at the giant pile. So satisfying. Now, we are going to pick up some horse armor, because as I said earlier, I do want some horse armor. I do want a horse, so we are going to do that. I love how we got this suit-up advancement after we got everything else. Well, I think that actually caps it for this video. Now, if you want to see me do more of this, and maybe even get a horse, then please, please like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.